and uh, members of the coalition of unpaid nurses and midwives have accused the government of deception. Uh, they claim government promised to settle their arrears, resulting in the suspension of uh, their indefinite strike action last year. Uh, according to them, there is a deliberate attempt on the part of government, especially some officials at the Ministry of Health, to prevent most of them from being paid. Uh, members of the coalition have therefore declared a resumption of their strike Wednesday, February 3. Uh, we now have in the studio Douglas Edu uh, Foucault, who is a spokesperson for the Coalition of Unpaid Nurses and Midwives. Uh, Good afternoon, sir, and thanks for joining us. How are you, sir? Good afternoon. So sir. tell me, I mean, I know that uh, last time you embarked on strike, uh, you, were, you called it off. What made you call it off? And uh, what indications do you receive from government to give you the assurance that you will be paid and subsequently calling it off? Um, honestly, last year we did embark on a strike. And then what made us call that strike off was that we were assured with the intervention of our mother association, the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, that um, with the assistance of the Ministry of Finance, they've been able to secure 7,000 in overclearance mm. to effect payments of their unpaid nurses and midwives salaries and areas. Um, but interestingly, um, the coalition collated the data and they realized that um, indeed the 7,000 clearance wasn't for all the nurses and midwives. It seems that um, about 30% 30 30 of the 7,000 were being paid the salary arrears. And even with the 30% of the 7,000 that were, were given the arrears, only 5% were paid fully. So for the 5%, they don't have any issue to do with salaries and arrears. Mm. But 25% were paid partly. And that's where the coalition is much, much concerned because it's quite interesting that your documents have been vetted by the Auditor General. It has been forwarded to the Ministry of Finance for approval for clearance to be released. And they also released the clearance to effect that all IVS should be paid. So the question we are asking is that why is it that a person, maybe an, uh, an affected nurse, is being asked or cleared to, to, to be paid? Um, is being but but I, I need to understand. I mean, you're giving us percentages of those who were paid and those who were not paid. But I want to believe that you were shown or you were made to agree to a certain roadmap leading to when your full, full payments will be made. Were you, was anything like that put before you? Um, the roadmap was that hopefully by November, everyone will be paid. And I have a copy of the statements by our mother association mm. that by then, if the, our grievances were not being given the necessary attention, they are going to fully support as, um, a full-scale resumption of our strike. Right. So that's what we have an issue with. Because if the mother association is indeed in charge, and then they told us that they are going to spearhead issues, definitely by now, they would have even have access to the list of the 7,000 clearance, the nurses there who were paid with their respective um, facilities and amount mm. of salaries that were paid to them. To date, they don't have. We, the coalition, are trying to access those documents to, it's not yielding any result, results. So these are some of the reasons that's what enforced us to resume the strike. We don't have any delight in calling or embarking on strike. We always hear that. I mean, you're going on strike, you're making demands for, for A, B, or C. Exactly what do you want government to do now? Continue paying uh, what it agreed to pay or what? Um, right now, the first thing is, we have categories of the issues. The first thing, when it we take the, um, for instance, the unpaid salary um, arrears, um, when we take that one into consideration, we are pleading that with unpaid arrears, that issue has something to do with the finance. Because there are some documents, especially in Western region, their documents were brought. They haven't been paid at all. About 20, more than 20 of them, they've worked for 12 months to 23 months mm. without even a salary. They brought their documents, they were told that the Ministry of Finance hasn't released clearance for those people to be paid. To date, as we speak now, they are still not having salaries being paid, not to talk of their IRS. Number two, regarding to the unpaid IRS, we are also pleading the age house because they delayed in the submission, they, some of them should admit that. Some even go to the extent of charging some nurses and midwives before they submit their documents. We are pleading any HR, human resource director, who has been engaging in these things. We don't want certain to be ha happening in the system again. 
All we want is that if they have issues with their full allowance and other things, they have to settle it themselves. Mm -hmm. And then make sure that they process our documents and submit for payment to be effected. Regarding the short paid, we want the Ministry of Health and Ministry of Finance um, and the controller to tell us the reason why somebody is being cleared. Some even had messages, test messages on their phones that they've been paid six months or 12 months arrears. They went to their banks and nothing was in nothing their accounts. Was there. So where are the monies? We want to ask the authorities to tell us where those monies are locked at. Number two, we want them to give us the list, the full list of the 7,000 clearance that they claimed they've released. Mm. These are the two basic things we want. And we want also them to call us that, yes, we see, we've rectified your issue. Come, let's sit. As we speak at the moment, the system is opened. So that those with issues, especially with a short page, can be keyed in. Those who, are, who have been cleared and yet not keyed in can mm. also be keyed in so that every salaries and arrears will be paid fully because immediately it's being killed. So if in. that is done tomorrow, if, you call if that off your is strike. done today, you call off the today, strike. we'll call off the strike. Because all what we want is that those documents there should be given clearance and should be cleared. And we'll go back and save our innocent patients at the facilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, tell me what form of strike, uh, what form is this strike taking? Just withdrawing your service? No, no, no. We, we, are, we, are, we are in the various homes. We are not even coming. If you come to the facilities, we, because we are so much passionate about the service we render, we would definitely have sympathy and attend to the clients. So we wouldn't even come at all for us to experience such passion to go back to work. But um, notwithstanding, we are also pleading that, if possible, the, ministry, the government should provide the Ministry of Health a server so that our system can be opened. We are limited. The Ministry of Health has so many categories of health workers. But if the server is being provided, you realize that you can ent make entries or they can key in any um, anomalies when rectified at any time. Mm. So that by the end of the month, we will receive our money peacefully and we wouldn't be having or forming community of interest like coalition of unpaid nurses. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting that you're saying that if you all these demands are met today, you will return to work. What kinds of negotiations have you started putting in place, apart from just a threat to go on strike, and you're already on strike anyway, uh, are you still on the negotiation table ahead of that? Um, right from here, I'll go to the mother association um, to submit a document to them, the data. They um, asked for the data long ago. So I when you say the mother association, you mean the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association? Exactly, exactly. So it's community at a community. The mm -hmm. coalition is a community under the border association. So I submitted to them. They requested for it, which I provided some to them. But it w those documents were not worked on. Those anomalies, those in Western region, to date, hasn't been worked on. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, too, some of the actions from the mother association also tells us that, like, it seems they don't feel what we are feeling. Do they understand us, but they don't feel But there are those the who heat. say that, I mean, a lot of groups like yours are just taking advantage of the air of strikes and just going on strike at the least provocation. I do understand your plight that some of your members have not been paid as much as 10 to 12 months, but couldn't you have done anything more? My brother, the only thing I think can communicate effectively to authorities is to back on the strike. Regarding to what happened last year, when we went on the strike, do you know they asked them to submit our documents for keying in to be done? Immediately we resumed back to work and we called, we suspended they the strike. They stopped that. We stopped that. So you think strike is the only language the government listens to? That's not what I think, but that's mm -hmm. what's happening. That's what's happening. Douglas, thanks very much uh, for your time. So it's now time for us to ask you, what do you think?